Hello everyone, let me start with a question. Are you tired of annoying ads ruining your Windows 11 experience? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we're gonna explore the Windows 11 ad prom and how it is affecting all of us. Before I continue, I just wanted to say that I am a Windows user, I love the system and I will continue to use it. But in my opinion, there are some things that Microsoft could be doing better. I will also include a link in the video description so you can read the complete editorial on this topic. Let's dive in, but before, Please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Windows 11 is a great operating system, but one of the biggest issues is the abundance of advertisements. From the start menu to the settings app, ads are everywhere. Microsoft usually refers them as a discovery feature, recommendations, or promotions, but we can argue that those are ads. They start at the initial setup and they spread out across the different parts of the operating system and apps. On every installation or when setting up a new computer, you will have to go through the initial setup. Although this is a straightforward process, it is also the first place where you're going to find advertisements. Now let's look for a minute into the initial setup. Once you go through some of the initial steps, you're gonna get to this page where you have to create an account. And the only way to create an account for Windows 11 is to use a Microsoft account. And as you can see, we're already seeing some type of advertisement right here. Yes, you get some benefits that are free. You can synchronize your settings and access some of the uh, benefits for free, but that's just a hook to get into the paid service. Now, I'm going to create an account. Now, as we go through the steps, we're gonna stumble upon other types of advertisements that I'm going to show you. So after setting up the account, this is perhaps the first type of advertisement that we're going to get in the initial setup. And that's because this setting right here, that's where you're going to tell the operating system how you're going to be using the system so Windows can personalize, among other things, ads. And you can see that reference right here. Now we're just going to continue skipping this step also, I'm going to skip the phone setup. So if you already use Microsoft Edge as your primary browser, you might not see this as advertisement, but for someone that's not use the browser, he uses Chrome or Firefox or any other browser, this is another type of advertisement because it's trying to get you into using Microsoft Edge. And here, we're not even into the desktop that we're getting a advertisement to purchase a PC Game Pass. Of course, you can always skip this option, but you can see that the option to purchase is highlighted more than the one to skip it. And some people might make a mistake and continue by clicking the button. In this particular installation, I did not receive the option to get the Microsoft 365 subscription. But as you can see on this screenshot, you might also get this. And it is also another type of advertisement even before getting into the desktop on a new installation or a new computer. Now, as you complete the setup process, one of the behaviors of the operating system is to open the start menu front and center. And the first thing that you're going to notice is the pin section, which is this one right here at the top that includes several pins for built-in apps, as well as some other apps from Microsoft partners, which could include a different range of default applications, but those will vary. In this particular installation, we have Spotify, LinkedIn, Luminar Neo, AI Photo Editor, and we also get the icon for Grammarly. Now, these apps are not actually installed on the system. They're just links. And if you click them, they will trigger the install from the Microsoft Store. Although I think that no one should be have to deal with this type of applications on the start menu when you're doing a clean installation or you're setting up a new device, they should at least include a label to make a distinction that that's not an actual app installed on the computer. Now, if we look below the pins, we also have the recommended section, which is also expected to include some form of advertisement in the future. Microsoft already announced that in the recommended section, we're probably going to see suggestions for apps from the Microsoft Store. The company says that this is a new way to make apps more discoverable, but we can argue that it is another way of advertisement. Finally, in the start menu, you will also find another type of advertisement in the profile menu as a form of account-related notification, which is this one right here. Sure, 
The notifications are a way to alert you of required actions in your Microsoft account, but the problem is that if you don't use OneDrive to back up your files, you will be prompted to upload your files to the cloud, and if you proceed and don't have enough space, you will have to purchase a subscription. When I wrote my editorial about the app problems on Windows 11, I did have this notification showing on my device, but since then, it has gone away. However, I do have another installation of Windows in the Veta channel in this case, and I can show you upcoming changes to this menu, which the company now refers it as the account manager menu. And let me just show you that this is how the menu now appears and it will amplify how the company pushes its services in the operating system. You can see that in this case, I do have a Microsoft 365 subscription and it shows also the cloud storage usage. Now, if you don't have a subscription, this is what you're going to see. You will see the current usage and the benefits when using the free tier but you also see this ad but if you don't have enough space you have to purchase a subscription yes you can close that but eventually you're going to get another reminder of the same or different actions that you're missing out if you're not using a microsoft 365 subscription now it is important to know that what we're seeing are the recommendations when you're using a microsoft account if you don't use that and you have a local account you will get something similar, but the recommendation will be to switch to a Microsoft account. In the Windows search experience, we can also find other types of advertisements in form of recommendations to lure you into using Bing with the dynamic content that we see on the right side. Usually the search interface doesn't offer anything for sale, but it is a gateway to start using the Bing search engine. If you use Bing, you will see more ads. And if you see more ads, someone is going to make more money. In fact, the Digital Markets Act or DMA in the European Economic Area or EEA now forces the company to change the Windows behavior in many ways to promote fair and competitive digital markets. One such change includes adding a new way to change the search engine provider for the Windows search experience. However, this only applies for users in the European Union regions. The United States, Canada, and other countries will continue to stock with Bing. Although the uh, widgets dashboard is on the brink of getting an update that will allow you to turn off the news feed, at the time of this video, it is also another controversial feature since it includes more curated marketing content than standard widgets. Furthermore, users can still not even place widgets on the desktop like it was possible on Windows 7, but that's a story for a different day. You will also notice some advertisements in the settings app. For example, on the uh, homepage, the company has been promoting many of its services, including Microsoft 365 and Copilot Pro. Because I have a Microsoft 365 subscription, I don't have that promotion on this page, but I do have a promotion to get the Microsoft Copilot Pro, as you can see right here. But let me switch to another computer and on this computer does not have a subscription for Microsoft 365 and you're going to see that the promotion is right here. Now, if you open the accounts section, you will also find other pieces of advertisement for purchasing different subscriptions, including the Microsoft 365, the PC Game Pass and Microsoft Copilot Pro. Now, if you already have one of these subscriptions, the ads will become elements to give you information about your benefits as you can see right here and as you can see because i already have the microsoft 365 subscription now i get the option to purchase the microsoft copilot pro subscription one of the apps that users use the most is file explorer and somehow the company managed to inject a few ads of course, the app doesn't promote buying a new mattress or promoting breaking news, but from time to time, you will find banners to back up your files to OneDrive, which in most cases it will require to purchase a subscription if you don't have one. And I can show you right here that this is one of the type of ads that shows up on File Explorer, and it is this element inside of the address bar that promotes backing up your files to OneDrive. There is also another banner that appears right here at the bottom of the uh, command bar, but I don't have that showing right now. But that is just one other thing that you might see on your computer. Since Microsoft Edge comes pre-installed on every installation, I do consider it as part of the operating system. And this app also includes 
some type of advertisements. For example, the app will always try to state as the default web browser on your computer. So this is another way to promote Edge in the operating system. On the right, we can see that we have the uh, side panel that promotes many of the company's services, including shopping. You can access different tools, which this can be useful sometimes. Then you have games. Microsoft 365, Outlook, and other services. The experience not only pushes users to engage more on the uh, company services, but it takes up valuable space on the screen. I do get that the uh, company has to promote its services, but it could find different ways to do it. On the uh, new tab page, the default settings push marketing content curated from the company. So that can also be another type of advertisement, depending on who you ask. And you also find different shortcuts right at the bottom of the search box. And they're actually labeled ads, as you can see right here, which obviously suggests that the company generates revenue from these icons. You you can always customize and turn off most of the non-essential features such as the uh, site panel and the new tab page. But the problem is that most non-technical users are unaware of what's happening or that these settings exist. In conclusion, although Windows is still a great operating system that offers many productivity features and it is an excellent platform for gaming, it has been slowly losing its direction since it became a free upgrade for most devices. And I'm not even talking about the AI stuff that are coming. It now feels that in every major update, the company thinks on ways to promote more services and products from partners. And this is not just in the operating system. You will find advertisement in many of the company apps. But since there are many different services, I won't be ranting about them here. However, I do have to say that the legacy version of the mail app was kind of like terrible. Even when I had the Microsoft 365 subscription, the app will show a banner to purchase the already purchased subscription. If you're up to the challenge, there are many different ways to remove many of these type of advertisement. Furthermore, it is possible to set up an installation with a local account to minimize advertisement and use a more traditional experience. But this experience is also is changing fast. You may not see many promotions, but you will be reminded to switch to a Microsoft account quite often. I will include the links for the instructions to complete these configurations on the video description. I have been saying this for years. Microsoft should offer Windows in two ways, a free upgrade that may continue with the same experience as we see today, and another that comes bundled as part of the Microsoft 365 subscription that offers a clutter-free and promotion-free experience. And that's it. That's my opinion on the ads problem inside of Windows. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.